Hi again guys, I have a little bit of a video today regarding support and use of PLA and PETG together. The reason I made this, uh, make this now is because I had a, a comment, I think it was on a Facebook group, where some guy said, oh, you're gonna get uh, a problem removing supports. A problem is, um, I'm gonna open a uh, okay, so let's see. I think I showed you this in earlier videos. You have this design here, and I and I'm printing with supports. So I want to have something that sort of makes a good surface on the underside, and to do that, I make like a like a solid layer. So let's see which one it is. I think it's this one. So you see here, I have a solid layer as its own object. Uh, let's see. Because there should be a different one here, insert BVA. BVA under, okay. So you see here, I'm doing this in two layers. So, so this one, here, that is either PVA or PLA, and um, then I have. Sorry, I got distracted. My other cam just sort of turned off a little bit, and um, the reason I do that is because I want to basically, I want to print supports up to this point here, and then I want a solid layer of. A material and then I want a pet G to print from this point and onwards and you may wonder why I, I want this kind of not use normal supports well you have this when um, I'm gonna show you hang on uh, of course no, it's no longer working. Wait a second, I just need to fiddle with my camera a little bit. There. And uh, let's see. I don't know if you can actually see my hand there. Is it? Is it even updating? Uh, properties. Now it's updating. <laughs> okay, so um, so you see, you have when you have one part here like this, and it needs to flat go onto here, and you have a different part like this. You want to fit those perfectly together like this, then. Having, uh, you see, like this, then having a, a perfect, perfect support layer underneath is kind of essential. And uh, and and I, uh, I will show you now that uh, when I slice this, I'm gonna show you again in my slicer. Give me a second. There. So when I slice it, it looks like this. So this area here is uh, is the PLA or PVA, depending on what I want to use. Yesterday I printed with PLA and I got amazing results. I'm going to show you guys. And there is another layer above it. Because I do this with an extra layer, it will interpret that as part of the model. So it will start printing with... Um, with the, um, like, oh, what's it called? Hang on. Uh, infill. It will start printing with infill straight after this part, which is just support. So f to do that, I, uh, I use a different object, which is basically a solid layer that goes just after the PLA or PVA. So when you slice it inside the slicer, 
it will look something like this. Uh, I'll turn off my IP cam. Sorry, that was that was kind of bad. So uh, I'll go back to this. I'll show you again. This is the uh, this is the layer that is PLA or PVA, and then this is the solid layer I was talking about that comes after. So when I slice this, it will uh, it will print supports up to this point, and then it will print normal supports. And then I get to here and then it will actually print the layer of PLA that I want and you can see that it gives a much smoother surface against the actual object than you get and and the, the comment I got on uh, on Facebook I think it was was that oh it will be hard to remove the supports but I'm gonna show you two reasons why it's not hard to move the supports because on the let me see is it there Strength, maybe. Yeah. Uh, when you go to the global settings and supports, you can select. Um, you can select an angle of your. Uh, I think it's your support. Let's see here. R rotate the support pattern to a horizontal plane. As it is now, you can see here that the supports are not printed straight in in a direct line because it's 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 harder to remove supports if they are like square straight inwards than if the supports are like slanted sideways like you see here. And I'm going to show you in 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 an actual showing um, on my other camera what I mean so I go here and this is the last version I printed as you can see here I have the supports and you can see here that the supports are printed sideways and the reason for me saying that is that when it's when you print it like this wait I'm gonna try and get it in focus that's not easy there when you print it like that and you fold it outwards you can see that the supports are easily giving way so what I'm doing is I just go around first step is to just go around and I just bend it gently sideways like this not too hard because I don't want to crack the pet GPLA there you see it, it's flexing because I printed sideways like this it's flexing outwards when you try to remove it and it makes it so much easier to remove the support don't try to just force it all open at once that's just uh, not gonna happen but you can see here I'm not using a lot of force. See, now we came to a point where this one broke, the support. And then, because I used PLA to print under, it is dropping off because the, the, the support structure itself is PETG. And if you're wondering, I printed the PLA at 240 and the PETG at 270. And you can already see that the PLA is coming apart. Let's see if I can get a, a clear vision on that. I'll try and put on some more lights. There. You can see here that the, the PLA is coming apart and that's this is the support interface. This this is the actual support interface. And then if I'm really gentle I can go in and I can try and and fasten the actual layer. You see that? That's the layer itself. I'll just hold that back a bit so you can see. Hold that again. My fingers are a bit in the way, you can see it. 
There's still one layer here. And I'm, I'm not even scratching it, see? I'm just gently bending it. And since that is the last one, I can just go in. And I can just slide down along the side, like this. And I don't think you can get a clearer print surface this way. So, and I just go around the whole way, follow that inner layer of PLA. I don't even, sc I don't even cut anything here. I'm just, just sort of wedging my scalpel in between the PLA and the pet G. And it's coming off so easily. It's, there is, there is no grip now at all. But when you're printing, it actually sticks very well, and it creates a really good foundation for, for printing with, uh, with support. Here it's sticking a bit extra, so I just cut it away a little bit. And then, you can basically see it now. That is... This is the actual place where the support lines were. And this method is, is perfectly possible to do. Like, imagine you're making helmets. It, it will require a lot of uh, filament changes when you're using it on the helmet, but... Can you imagine printing like this if you're printing uh, like a like a helmet? Wait, it seems to time out again. Seems to be a timeout on the server. Let me see if I can get the picture back. Keeps crashing. I don't know why. Think I need a better better software. Is it is it is it back now? There, now it's working again. So you can see this is the actual surface where the supports were. And it is smooth all the way around. And that is uh, basically, in a nutshell, how I now prefer to print objects that have support, is that I, I, I make a separate layer, and then I make a second layer after that, to sort of indicate, oh, um, I want that to continue there as a solid interface. And, and the result is that you get stunning prints like this. And as I said, imagine you're printing a helmet and you have like hundreds of small supports. And you want to print the helmet in PETG and you can just use uh, PLA in between and you remove the supports and it's the finest print ever. You don't have to sand any of the support points at all. Yeah, there will be a few print changes maybe on a, PLA, on a, on a helmet, but it's just for illustration that it is possible. And, and this is literally the side see this is the support side you would have had this kind of structure under there if you had printed only using interface but since I'm using that other one this is the actual thing that the pet G is pressing against making a really really smooth surface all around the object and as you can see there is there's no like tear or anything it just came off so easily of the pet G so, um, I just wanted to show you that pet G, and I also wanted to, <coughs> sorry, I wanted to show you that um, if you have supports, don't put them 90 degrees towards the print, angle them like 35 degrees, and here I'm using a distance of 0 0.15 from the model itself. <coughs> and that, that it basically makes it so that there is really no gap between the supports and the 
and and the uh, and the model itself, so it's easily able to print without any big gaps. Um, so yeah, uh, hope uh, that helps, and uh, I hope you like these kind of videos where you see why what I find out by just researching uh, in trial and error. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.